thank you for deciding to watch this video. Do you know why you brought love to give you questions on NSAID? It's because this is a very bad drug. There's a lot of side effects. Most people pop, pop it like a candy. Therefore, let's get the facts so that you can know, educate your patient and teach them. NSAID is basically is non-steroid or anti-inflammatory. That tells you that there is um, anti-inflammatory that may be steroidal in nature, right? Anti-inflammatory drugs. So there's some, some that may be inflammatory in nature, the and then steroidal. For this one, the most common one is ibuprofen. You already know, right? Ibuprofen. Um, we have Motrin, right? We have endomethacin. These are common ones. And then the one the board sometimes will give you is keto road lack. It's a, a toro. And don't forget cerebrates. It has a black box uh, related to cardiac disease. These are the common ones you should know. Of course, they always like to confuse you. Aspirin is an NSAID, but acetyl menophene. It's not, it's not an NSAID, so pay attention. That one is not an NSAID, don't get confused with it. So why did your board love it? These are the side effects. One, bleeding rigs. There's a lot of bleeding rigs, so you teach the patient to do things to prevent bleeding, or they should not combine with anything that will cause bleeding. That's number one, how you teach the patient. Number two, it causes kidney injury. How does it cause kidney injury? This is key fact. The kidney um, has two blood vessels that supply it. This is just the content so that you can understand. If this is the kidney, this is the glomerulus, and this is the kidney, this is the filtration system of the kidney. There's a vessel, this is the afferent, I call it A, and the E, inferent. The urine go here and the urine get filtered into the tubal system and go, right? This afferent arterial is under the direction of prostaglandins, okay, PGI, prostaglandins. NSAID will block prostaglandins. Prostaglandins dilate the artery and allow blood to flow. If they, you take NSAID, you block this. It causes constriction. That constriction, what does it create? Less blood flow, and it causes your um, glomerular filtration rate uh, to decrease. And therefore you have kidney injury. That's why you should, if you have kidney disease, you should not take um, NSAID. So that is why. So that's another side effect. You see bad problem. So somebody who have kidney problems should not be taking NSAID. Number three, people who have nasal polyp, is going to worsen it, more nasal polyp. And what does it do? It causes bronchospasm for these people. So if you have nasal polyp, you should not be taking the NC. Number four, ask my patient. It worsen, or I can say it causes bronchospasm in asthma patients. So asthma patient, it's one thing you teach them to avoid as much as possible. So you see one thing, this is what he's doing. Very bad medication, as you can see. What else does he do? And he said also is affect cardiovascular disease. So it can lead to myocardial infarction through vasoconstriction nature of it, as you block prostaglandins, right? So if you have a heart attack, you should not be taking NSAID. This is something people forget. It causes hypertension. How? NSAID holds on to water. So water retention. So with true water retention, your blood pressure goes up. So if you, you're taking, you have hypertension, you take, you pop NSAID like a candy, expect your blood pressure to go up. So for these are the things you teach the patient. Based on that fact, look at it. Somebody with CHF, you know, they need to get rid of water, right? 
they need to get rid of water. If they pick NSAIDs, they're going to hold on to water and they will have CHF exacerbation. So NSAID can exacerbate the client with CHF. And for one of the teaching you teach them is to know to take NSAIDs if you have CHF. Okay, the most common things that we all know is about gastric ulceration to decrease in blood flow. So the same thing. So gastric ulceration. So it causes ulcer. And so when you see somebody taking NSAID, maybe have, that's why we teach them to take it with food so that it doesn't cause gastric irritation and ulceration. Patient who is on steroid should not take NSAID because steroid will increase your risk of gastric ulceration. And therefore, if you're taking NSAID, double one, you are in trouble. You should not do that. And this is the key fact, bleeding risk. I'll talk about it briefly. If you have any genetical problem that will cause you to bleed, you should not take NSAID. So hemophilia, hemophilia, a or B or from Willibrum disease. I call it Willy disease. That I means von Willibrum disease. They are all in a condition. You should tell this patient not to take NSAID. Otherwise, their condition is going to worsen. One of the key ones that I want you to pay attention to is this. This is the this is the one I want you to take attention. Pregnancy. If you're pregnant during the first and the second trimester, it's fine. NSAIDs are okay. There's no problem. But when you get to the third trimester, you should avoid it. So if you see a question, be careful and see what exactly you're saying. It's okay to take NSAID during pregnancy, but when you get to the third trimester, you should avoid it because it causes premature closure, premature closure of the um, ductus arteriosus. This is usually what, if it persists, they become PDA. So we don't want the, the, the ductus arteriosus to close. We want to keep the ductus arteriosus to be open when you are in your mother's womb, okay? As soon as you're born and you take a breath, it leads to the closure of the ductus arter arteriosus because there's more across the gland is being produced. But this is what happened. If you take NSAID, you close the what? the ductus arteriosus, so it closes, so the baby cannot have oxygen, blood supply, and everything become a problem. So we tell you not to do that. Think about it. If your ductus arteriosus is open, usually when you're born, everybody ductus arteriosus is open because we kept it open throughout when you were during the trimester. When you get born, it's open. As you start taking bread, it closes. If after a few days, it has not closed, we give you what NSAID to close it. That is endometricin. So that is the key fact. Pregnant lady should not take NSAID during what? The third trimester because it causes premature closure of ductus arteriosus. And then you already know kids with viral infection or URI should not get, take any NSAID in the form of salicylate. Salicylate meaning aspirin, aspirin derivative. Salicylate, that's the word you get, your board will use. Pay attention to that, this right. Salicylate is as aspirin derivative, acetyl salicylate. It's the same thing. When you see that, yeah, it's a form of NSAID. Kids who have viral infection, should not take it because when they take it, they're going to get what? Ray syndrome. So when you take salicylate, you're going to get 
Ray syndrome. So because of that, we tell them to avoid it. This is an encephalopathic problem, acute hepatic encephalopathy, so liver problem, so they can stop it. You see, one thing, one problem, one medication, see what you have. Before I go, I just want to know that this salicylate, if they give you a question and the patient has Kawasaki, this is only an exception. You can take aspirin because we don't want you to get a coronary artery disease, which is more dangerous than hepatic encephalopathy. But this is the key factor for what aspirin is. And since everything you know about it, bleeding problem, kidney injury, nasal polyps. If you have nasal polyps, you should avoid it. It's going to worsen it because it's bronchospasm with that. If you have asthma, you should not take it because it causes bronchospasm. If you're pregnant, you should avoid it during the trimester because it's closure of the ductus arteriosus prematurely. If you're a kid, you can take it when you have viral disease or an upper respiratory infection because it causes Ray syndrome. If you take the aspirin, if you have a bleeding disorder, you should not take it NSAID. If you have ulcer, you should not take NSAID. If you have CHF, you should not take NSAID because it's hold on to water. If you have hypertension, you should not take NSAID because it's hold on to water and wasting your hypertension. If you have coronary disease, it causes a mind. Concept of NSAID, very small medication, a bunch of side effects. What do you think? The board would want you to know at least something to teach the patient to avoid it. So this is a brief idea, information, concept of NSAID. In this video, when you watch it, you can answer any questions about NSAID. Take care of yourself and have a good day. Bye-bye.